Welcome to Carson's bedroom. Welcome to my room. Anna Dine here. So this is another part of my house tour series where I take you through more rooms of our house, show you how I organize them. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five quick tips for keeping your kids' room organized. I hope you like dinosaurs, so let's get to it. My first tip is obviously to keep your kids' room so cheap. This bed was mine when I grew up. This dresser was mine when I grew up. To carry home the dinosaur theme, I scored these from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. We also got a really cute dinosaur lamp and bedding on clearance at Target. The teepee is one of my favorite things of this room and we got this using a 40% off coupon from Hobby Lobby. You can find these beanbag chairs at Walmart. These are so awesome and so great for reading in. Every single one of these books was thrifted and we love having them. For all kids of any age, the simpler you can make it, the better. More stuff equals more mess. He has one bin of stuffed animals over here, and this is just for his kind of cuddle guys that he puts on his bed at night, and he likes to change those out. But it keeps them from getting dusty in there, and it doesn't clutter up the whole room, so we really don't have to spend a lot of time cleaning. Flipping you guys around to his closet. Pretty much everything you see is from a dollar store in here, and it always stays organized, and here are my tricks. This entire system was $200, and you'll see it's installed on kind of this back rack right here, and that way you can adjust the system as your children grow. This closet can be anything I want it to be. I'll link spots where you guys can find those down below. I highly recommend them. Categorized clothes. These are Carson's dress codes. These are his short sleeve shirts. These are his long sleeve shirts. Then use dollar store bins to implement a no fold system. We just throw them in after they're clean. We have a bin for pants, all of his swim gear, his shorts. These are his dress pants and then these are bigger size pants. Even though he's older and taller, it still works to have a no fold system. In these bins we keep hats and shoes, bedding, and then you can see we've got these bins just full of his PJs. We also keep Carson's memorabilia box in here, and I made a whole video about this if you wanna make one for your kids. And to give you an idea, we do have Carson do some chores, and these are the types of things that we expect out of a three and a half year old. Every closet needs one of these. Down the very bottom, have a laundry basket. That way as kids grow out of clothes, they no longer fit, you can just stick it on the floor of the closet. Once the basket is full, I go through all of the clothes and I put them into totes for that size. So I recently did it for all of Carson's 2T stuff and then we can put them away so Owen can wear them later. So you might be wondering what we keep in our dresser. In the top drawer we've got underwear, the middle drawer we have all of his pull-ups, and then the bottom drawer is for sheets and blankets. We also keep library books on the floor in this little thrifted organizer right by the door so they don't get mixed up with their other books and they never lost through the house. I hope you enjoyed with my fish. <laughs> Look at the fish you do there. We got this green leaf just sitting. This is my bed. Definitely leave a comment down below and do not forget to subscribe because I've got so many more videos to show of our house but also how to get organized on a small budget. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you soon. Bye! Come back again soon!